Going into two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, the air freight aspect of the aviation industry has gotten more attention. Looking beyond the pandemic, the major aircraft manufacturers of Airbus and Boeing are lining up their offerings for cargo aircraft. While Boeing may have a wider variety of cargo aircraft, Airbus has made its new addition offering a bigger aircraft for cargo using the Airbus A350 as the base of it. Recently launched, the Airbus A350 received an order from one of its highest profile customers, Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines signed a letter of intent with Airbus to acquire seven Airbus A350 freighters with an option for an additional five. Singapore Airlines would be taking in these freighter aircraft as part of a swap with 15 Airbus A320s and two A350s on the airline's order book. For this order, the aircraft is expected to be delivered to Singapore Airlines during the fourth quarter of 2025. This addition to Singapore Airlines fleet, the A350 freighter, will be a major boost for the future of the airline's cargo fleet, which happens to be based in an important business hub in Southeast Asia. The importance of Singapore Airlines cargo operations along with Singapore as a cargo hub in general saw activity intensified during the COVID-19 pandemic. The ongoing pandemic has been a boost for Singapore Airlines cargo operations which covers 90 destinations. And the airline has a dedicated fleet of seven Boeing 747-400 freighters used for all cargo operations add to the use of the cargo holds on the passenger flights. The A350 freighters will eventually replace the 747-400 freighters, which provides more fuel efficiency and reduce the carbon emissions by the airline by 400,000 tons. While the A350 freighter will have a slightly less cargo capacity of 109 tons versus the 116 on the 747, it will have a slightly longer range by around 200 nautical miles. The A350 freighter will be in addition to Singapore Airlines, which is already one of the biggest A350 operators in the world. While it's not actually mentioned by the airline, there will be more efficiency in the overall operations, as now A350 pilots for passenger aircraft will be able to switch between cargo and passenger flight operations, reducing the need for pilot training for additional aircraft types. The introduction of the Airbus A350 freighter comes at a time when its competitor Boeing has been putting more efforts in its cargo aircraft offerings. Boeing has recently announced plans for conversion centers for its 737-800s and 767s, adding to its freighter lineup which includes the biggest jets its Boeing 747 as well as the 777. Meanwhile, Airbus has had a noticeable gap for its freighter lineup which the European aircraft manufacturer has the cargo versions of the Airbus A321 and A330. Airbus does have a big high-capacity freighter de Beluga based on the Airbus A300. However, Airbus only uses it as part of its internal operation and is not offered to airlines. Going forward, the Airbus A350 will be the biggest offering for cargo aircraft for airlines. Since its official launch, Airbus has received orders for up to 22 of the aircraft and 9 options. Along with Singapore Airlines, Airlies Corporation placed an order for 7 of the jets, while French-based CGA, CGM, Air Cargo placed an order for 4. Following the headlines of Singapore Airlines with the Airbus A350 freighter, it was announced Air France KLM signed a letter of intent with Airbus for 4 of the jets with an option for the additional 4. It's been reported those aircraft will be operated by Air France. Based on the A350, it is a viable replacement for 747 and A330 freighters, and a competitor to Boeing's 777 freighters. In terms of its range, there has been some talk and discussion as to how far the aircraft could go. On Airbus's website and Singapore Airlines press release, it does state that the range can go up to 4,700 nautical miles. This is not necessarily the limit of the performance for the aircraft in terms of range, as it has been reported that with a slightly reduced capacity, the aircraft can go up to 6,000 nautical miles. The A350 is Airbus's entry for a large, wide-body freighter, as it steps up the challenge Boeing further with its product line of air freighters. What are your thoughts on the Airbus A350 freighter, and how do you see the future for the aircraft? I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, 
please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia, highlighting the news and updates from the aviation and travel scene in the Asia Pacific. Thank you for watching and have a great day.